Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Knowledge of Life where we are discussing about the basic concepts of genetics. In the previous videos, we have discussed about Mendel's Law of Inheritance where we have discussed about Law of Dominance, Law of Segregation and Law of Independent Assortment. Today in this video, we will discuss about Law of Co-Dominance and Incomplete Dominance which is of non-Mendelian type. So, at first, we will have to recall the Mendel's law of dominance. What we have known in Mendel's law of dominance that there is expression of the dominant allele in the filial generation and the recessive ones remains unexpressed or covered by the dominant allele. That is, there is only expression of the dominant characters. Now, we have also said that the law of dominance is true but not universally accepted as there are many other exceptions where the law of dominance is not applicable. So at first we will have to know what is meant by the term co-dominant. What is meant by co-dominant? When both are dominant in nature then it is called co-dominant. That is when both of the alleles are dominant in nature that is they have got a same power of expression then that is known as codominant. Now what is the law of codominance? When there is lack of dominant and recessive relations in allele of the parent generation of the same gene that is they are present in the same gene then their expression in the parent in the daughter generation will be of the both types then there is expression of both of the alleles in the offspring generation phenotypically and genotypically and then those alleles of the parent generation are known as co-dominant allele and the phenomenon taking place is known as co-dominance now let's look at an example and we will try to know about the law of co-dominance with the help of an example. In the previous videos, we have said about the ABO blood type and we have said that there are multiple genes present where multiple alleles present where for the expression of the ABO blood group. Now we know that for ABO blood group or the ABO gene there are three kind of alleles present one is IA capital IA capital IB and small i that is capital IA stands for A antigen capital IB stands for B antigen and small i stands for the O or the no antigen type now if A allele of or the IA allele of ABO gene of a male of a male is crossed with B allele or IB allele of a female then there is expression of AB blood group in the phenotype or the filial generation. Now let's look at a picture here a heterozygous male is crossed with a heterozygous female. Now the heterozygous male have a blood group of A as the O1 is recessive in nature and as it is heterozygous there is AO and it is crossed with a heterozygous female of B blood group that is BO. Now the offspring generations can have AO blood group, AB blood group, BO blood group and OO blood group. Now, as we have known that O is recessive in nature, recessive in nature and A and B alleles both are dominant and they are co-dominant with each other. So, when uh, A blood group is crossed with a B, then there is expression of the AB blood group and they are co-dominant in nature. This is the example of co-dominance. Now, if we look at the genotypic and phenotypic ratio, then 
in the genotypic ratio there will be AO, AB, BO and OO it is a genotypic ratio and the ratios are all of them are same that is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 and in the phenotypic ratio the ratio will also be same as there are four kind of possible blood groups that is AO, AB, BO, OO that is A blood group, AB blood group, B blood group and O blood group and in this case also the genotypic in the ratio will be same that is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 that is in the genotypic and phenotypic ratio of comp, comp, co-dominance there is the ratio will be same now let's talk about the conclusion of the law what are the conclusions drawn that is when both of the alleles are dominant that is their strength of expression in the daughter generation is same then codominancy takes place and the daughter generation is of heterozygous condition as we have seen that the daughter generation is of heterozygous condition that is AB which is which is heterozygous and the genotype and phenotype ratio remains same that is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 in both of the cases the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios are same okay now let's talk about the law of incomplete dominance or it can also be called partial dominance or semi semi dominance now when neither of the allele of the parent generation of the same gene is dominant over each other that is of the male or female type they are neither neither of the allele are dominant then there is mixing of both the characters in the filial generation and then it is known as incomplete dominance now let's get an example to explain the law the 4 o'clock plant is a very good example of incomplete dominance. If a red flower of the 4 o'clock plant is crossed with the white flower of the parent generation, then a pink flower is produced in the F1 generation. Now, what is the phenomenon taking place? Here is a Punnett square expression of the cross a R1 R1 that is a pure red male is crossed with a R2 R2 that is pure white female then there is expression of R1 R2 R1 R2 and all the cases are R1 R2 where the color is pink in the F1 generation in the F1 generation so and now after that when the F1 generation is allowed to cross that is the hybrid type that is the R1 R2 of the male that is pink in nature and R1 R2 of the female that is pink also pink in nature there is expression of R1 R1 that is pure red R2 R1 that is hybrid pink R1 R2 that is also hybrid pink and R2 R2 that is pure white there is expression of the red color the pink color and the white color and the genotypic and phenotypic ratios are also same that is red is to pink is to white the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and in case of phenotypic ratio there is also there is also present of red pink and white color that is 1 is to 2 is to 1 that is a genotypic and phenotypic ratio in both law of co-dominant and law of incomplete incomplete dominant is same and now let's talk about the conclusion of the law in the f1 plant appears in a phenotypic ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 as we have said and the red color producing allele is not completely dominant over the white color producing allele and as a result of that the genotypic and phenotypic ratio is same and equal to 
1 is to 2 is to 1. Now, in the conclusion, we can say that according to Mendelian's characters, there is law of dominance. According to non-Mendelian character, there is law of co-dominance. And according to non-Mendelian character, there is also presence of law of incomplete dominance. Now, in law of dominance, there are present of two alleles in and also in case of law of co-dominance and law of incomplete dominance, they are present of two alleles. But the types of the alleles are in law of dominance is one is dominant and one is recessive. One is dominant and one is recessive. But in case of law of co-dominance, both of the alleles are dominant in nature. And in case of incomplete dominance, both of the alleles are partially dominant. Now, in case of law of dominance, only the dominant allelic character is expressed in the F1 generation or the daughter generation. But in case of law of codominance, both of the alleles are expressed. In law of incomplete dominance also, both of the alleles are expressed. But what is the difference between the law of codominance and law of incomplete dominance? In law of codominance, the characters are present in the daughter generation, but there is no mixing of characters. They are both of the characters are present in the daughter daughter generation, but they are present separately. But in case of incomplete dominance, there is mixing of characters as both of the alleles are partially dominant over each other. This is the basic difference between the law of co-dominance and law of incomplete dominance. So, hope this video will help you.